Hey, Larry, uh, Ryan here. And I wanted to send you just a little bit of an overview. I think sometimes it's easier to get visual, right? Uh, and so I'll give you a bit of an overview of that first session that we would recommend uh, for your team. I had a couple of questions on, a, for, on an earlier email to you, and I'd like to send something like this uh, to the three or four, uh, maybe five uh, top clients that you have that could use uh, and benefit from our training. So uh, I want to just make sure that, um, that I'm giving you a bit of an overview here, and I'm going to go back. So um, one of the things that we do is we, we really connect, obviously, the idea of sport and resilience. Um, you know, that's, th this is the key, not only to resilience, but also, as uh, you would agree, sports and business has such a strong connection. And so we, uh, we really, um, you know, really like to make that connection. That's who we are. And uh, from professional sport to professional business. And we work at thinking through leadership, team, and high-performance culture in this sort of connection. So 86 story, we win a cup in May. We, we were pretty much dysfunctional in February. And, and my question to your team is, what changed? And we, we have some fun figuring that out. And that's really the metaphor for our training in session one. Uh, one thing that I'd like to find is I often put in just a little bit of uh, ideas around uh, this idea around resilience, right? So the 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 concept of resilience and uh, and just you know the ability to return, the ability to recover. We try to make sure that we're connecting around resilience as much as we can throughout uh, the stuff that we do. Um, so uh, I touch on language. We're gonna we're gonna focus on those six mindsets, but this idea of language is powerful, isn't it? You know the the idea that language defines reality and and how does that work? And then I really go deep into with the capitals, what kind of language was in that dressing room? You know, with the Canadians, what kind of language was in that uh, winning dressing room? And the differences. And so we we really solidify that for you in the concept of your culture and, and your people. I think the other thing that we, we work hard to do is, is connect language, you know, personal language. Like this was the headline when I came into Montreal, when I was traded there, worst trade in NHL history. And that affected me for about a month, right? That language, words count. So we make that very explicit in our, our leadership training. So uh, I'll give you a, just a little note too. I like to play off of the work I did with Miracle. Uh, 1980 US went over the Soviet Union. We helped make, I helped make the Disney movie. And so worked with Kurt Russell. And, uh, you know, Kurt, Herb Brooks in that movie, the coach would often say this, who do you play for? And he was trying to get all these college players to not play for their individual college, but for, obviously the United States of America. Bit hokey, but it's a powerful piece. And I got a chance to be the referee in the big game. And and so that was that was a lot of fun. And we'll play off that a little bit. And here's how we play off it. Um, the world of movie making talks about framing, right? You have to frame in your movie. And we'll ask your people to frame in their takeaways during our session together. So we'll have some fun there. We're gonna get on the same page from what we call it the performance process. It's this idea of outcome process, identity, and then uh, experiences. We'll spend some time just getting on the same page there. I'm going quick, because I just wanna give you an overview. And then our principle, 60, 95, 80 principle, 60,000 thoughts a day, 95% of those thoughts, the same thoughts you had yesterday, and 80% of the 95 are negative thoughts. If we don't do any work in this area, and this is really the, the work that we love to do with your team, uh, we give you awareness to, to, to choose the thinking that you desire instead of uh, reacting to the thinking that comes your way. Big words, metacognition. Here's our, here's our uh, metacognition means thinking about thinking. 
And here's uh, the context to our model. As you can guess, it's on an ice arena. You've seen a little bit of this. Uh, positive thinking at the top, negative thinking at the bottom, past thinking on the far on the left boards, future thinking on the, the right boards. And this is the core training element that we're going to work on. So you've got past negative thinking in the bottom left. I'm going to go over these quick. Future negative thinking, bottom right. Past positive thinking, uh, top left. Uh, future positive thinking, um, top right. And then we, we really uh, show some great videos of uh, visualization and, and seeing the things that we want instead of looking at the things that we don't want. So we have great visuals that way. And um, we'll walk you through those. I won't take the time now, but uh, we'll walk you through those with your team. Okay. Um, that's Mike Camilleri uh, doing that on the bench. Pretty cool, cool idea. And then he scores. So, uh, so we go deep into the six mindsets. We get your team to, you know, team up in Zoom rooms and talk about how this makes sense to them. Uh, we call it the D zone, the neutral zone, the offensive zone. We'll, show, we'll walk you through that. And we've really taken this concept to a higher level now. Uh, as you can see, we've got, you know, the flow zone. So here's a look at your employees in flow. And then we, we have some great examples, uh, you know, from uh, sport and from science. And, and we'll walk you through that. Then we hit the mindfulness side. This is our six mindset. This is one that uh, I didn't show you. This is an add-on, a very powerful one. And these three R's that we've developed actually help your people increase resilience, okay? So I'm giving you just a little bit of an, an overview here. Uh, it's nice to get visual. Um, and by the way, you know, it all ties together, right? Three positive interactions to one negative interaction is the three to one ratio that you need in your in your culture and we get your people thinking about it. We share with them, you know, some of the latest science on productivity, positivity connected to productivity. And and uh, it's stuff that we all know, but it's a, they're great reminders. And then uh, I'd love to talk to you just a little bit about uh, the second session where we really connect the language of this first session model and the mindsets of the first session model, and we connect it to hope and trust. And I'll just show you that just a touch, and then uh, and then we're done. We've built another model, Larry, called high and low hope, high and low trust. And these quadrants, we get your team. We have some fun filling out. For example, what give us some uh, some indicators of high hope and high trust? Like that's the best team you've ever played for, right? Uh, and you can just feel the energy there. You can feel the mindset there. You can feel the uh, the behaviors and actions there. But what about low trust, low hope? And then we hit, you know, the the uh, uh, we call it the third quadrant and the second quadrant. Those are the tough ones. So really cool because what it does is it gets us into understanding high hope, low hope people right? You know, how clear are your goals? You know, do are, are we in that place of where we dwell in negativity and gossip or, or you know, we have a sense of humor and we recover easily? So, so there's, it really gets deep into sort of the concepts of high trust and, and low trust. And it's a powerful indicator for your people on growth and how, where your culture's at and where you want to take it. So that gives you just a little bit of an, an overview, Larry. I mean, this is, uh, I'd rather do it visually. That's our first session. That's a half hour session. We recommend the second, I'm sorry, when I say half hour, half day session. We recommend the second uh, half day session sort of come maybe, you know, it, it can be a quarter later. It can be a couple months later. And we like to have a, a bit of a coaching call in the middle to make sure that you've got a retention bridge that helps your people retain what we trained on. All right, Larry, look forward to our next conversation. Uh, thanks very much. And by the way, just for you, uh, I want to, the reason I asked for first names is I want to do this type of thing for your uh, potential clients and friends in Montreal so they can get a grasp of what we can bring. Okay, thank you.